we just emerged from a session on growth capital and uh, it was a very lively discussion involving investors and uh, practitioners who are actually the GPs and several important issues came out of it. One of them is relating to uh, the cyclicality of that industry, uh, of this niche of the market, the, uh, the momentum in the long run, the ability to identify opportunities, the competition in the deal origination, the skill set that is required from uh, the VCs as well as the management, how it differs from uh, private equity as well as early stage venture capital. And uh, we have here with us Niels Rode uh, from ADVEC that was on the panel and I would like to ask you, Niels, a couple of questions that uh, again uh, emerged for me from this uh, panel. And the first got to do with the uh, cyclicality and the exit and how they are all related uh, in terms of the flexibility. If there is more with growth capital, is it more immune compared to venture capital in general? And can you comment on venture capital vis-a-vis -vis, uh, private equity on, on the cyclicality? Well, as a sub-segment uh, within private equity, venture capital and growth capital is not very cyclical in terms of uh, investment performance. Uh, that became visible uh, again during the 2009 crisis where venture capital and growth capital had a, a, a low maximum drawdown, the lowest uh, compared to other uh, sub-segments and also uh, compared to public markets, uh, where volatility uh, is the lowest in venture capital and growth capital, and where uh, during the crisis uh, companies continue to grow very strongly, uh, not so much affected by the overall economic uh, situation. So in that sense, it's not very cyclical. Where there is some cyclicality is uh, with regard to the exit markets. Um, exit windows open and close. Exit uh, through trade sales uh, has uh, cyclicality. So um, there are the fund managers um, need to find the right time when the exit market is open. They exit when the exit market is not uh, open. Uh, they continue to develop uh, uh, the companies they have in the portfolio. So it's more patient uh, capital structure and uh, playing the option game, when to exit, in, in a way. Well, it's one of the big uh, benefits of the private equity structure, that uh, the, 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 there's the predefined uh, fund life, which, uh, if necessary, can be extended, um, and which gives a lot of flexibility uh, to the fund managers uh, uh, to be patient, both uh, at entry and to be patient at exit. Last question, what did you learn new from the panel yourself, being uh, around this industry for so long? Is there any new insights that came to your mind from the panel? Well, I believe we had uh, interesting discussions about this element of what is cyclical, what is not cyclical, um, about uh, what makes uh, uh, a good investment, uh, what is important in the selection. Um, and uh, so I, I appreciated the discussion. So I believe this was a, a, an interesting session. It was very interesting. Unfortunately, there are still many, many puzzles uh, to find uh, what we call the unicorns with these investments. But uh, yeah, there's more room to go. Thank so, you very much. Thank you.